In this video, I'm going to use a Dexter Industries Arduberry to connect to a Raspberry Pi. And the Arduberry is essentially an Arduino. It has the uh, Atmega 328P uh, uh, MCU on it, just like the Arduino Uno does. So this would allow you to use existing Arduino shields that you have or existing sketches that you've written. Um, and then you can program those into the Arduberry. And then you can also then interface with the Raspberry Pi. So this would open up things like uh, running a web server on the Raspberry Pi so you could serve out data collected through the Arduino or you could uh, email data out through the Raspberry Pi. Um, kind of things like that. Things that you could do with an Arduino, but they would be a little more difficult. You'd have to have Wi-Fi shields and, and you'd have to write your own web server. <clears throat> as opposed to the Raspberry Pi, for example, you could just run Apache web server and serve out your data that way. Okay, so these are the components. And this is a Raspberry Pi um, 2 Model B. You can also use the um, Model B Plus with the RG Berry as well, but this one's a Raspberry Pi 2. And this, <clears throat> this is the RG Berry, and it looks similar to an Arduino. It's smaller. The Atmel processor is on the bottom. Um, it has a barrel jack you can use to power it. But if you use a barrel jack, there's some capacitors you need to attach and a voltage regulator. So for what I'm doing, I'm just going to power it uh, through the uh, Raspberry Pi. So this just connects to the Raspberry Pi like that. Okay, so you can see these uh, these headers on the uh, Arduberry allow you to attach um, shields. So this is just a basic project shield. This is nothing fancy, but most any shield should work. Let's see. These pins, okay. Okay, and then this little board can go there. So that's, that's how they stack together. Um, I'm gonna just do a couple of simple projects. I'm gonna uh, do the blink project just to make sure um, the Archibary is working and then um, hook up a temperature sensor and read that through the serial lines into the uh, Raspberry Pi and display that in a graph. Okay, so now I'm logged into the Raspberry Pi and the first thing you want to do for the Archibary is go to this uh, Dexter Industries website and there's a there's a um, repository you need to clone uh, that's going to get you um, uh, Arduino IDE client and it's kind of a specialized client so you really do need to to do this and then run the installation script and then so once once you do that then you'll have the the IDE and I've got a um, a simple blink uh, circuit hooked up to the Arduino so I'm going to show you how that how you, how you upload the sketch so so blink yeah so um, one thing you'll notice is you're not going to be able to use this serial monitor to look at uh, serial output from the Arduino, but there's still a way to to view that output. You just have to use a, a command line program, and the so the serial port is also grayed out. So it uses serial port uh, uh, slash dev slash tty ama zero. And then another thing you need to know is the programmer you want to make sure is set to Raspberry Pi GPIO. Okay, so, and you don't want to use the normal upload, like that little arrow up there. You want to do upload using programmer. Okay, so I'm going to upload that sketch. Okay, so, so to look at the, um, the serial monitor output, when you ran that installation script from Dexter Industries, they also included a program called Minicom. Um, so this lets you listen in on the serial port. There are others you can use. I think there's one called PicoCom. 
that I've used before, but so you just do minicom uh, ma0. And we should see this uh, this the serial output it just says looping baby. So yeah, so that's how you would look at your serial output. So since you can't use a serial monitor, maybe a way to use it, but I think it listens in on COM1 by default. There's maybe configurable, but I don't know. This is this is how I do it. So uh, let's see. Get out of that. Okay. Um, okay, so then the next thing I want to show you, I'm going to load up another sketch. I have a... Um, Uh, I'm gonna hook up an LM35 temperature sensor circuit and and run that. Okay, so I've set up the the circuit. So this is just a, a LM35 temperature sensor, and I'm gonna load the sketch. The, the Arduino sketch is really simple. Um, it's just gonna read from the analog pin one, and then convert that value into a Fahrenheit value. Then it's gonna send it over the serial port. Uh, send that value of the serial port uh, every three seconds. So what I've done on then on the Raspberry Pi, I've installed a program called Processing, and Processing is a programming language that lets you do like a lot of graphics. And if you do programming in Raspberry Pi or uh, excuse me Arduino or Raspberry Pi, um, it's it's a nice program to get to use, to learn how to use because you can display data collected by the Arduino. Um, in a lot of different ways and so the sketch I'm going to load in processing it's going to take those temperature values and then display like a little thermometer graph and um, and use those temperatures to set the thermometer values so processing then I'm going to load load up the sketch and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about processing may may do another video just on processing one thing you will notice though you do have to set the serial port it's going to listen in on to AMA0 so that's the recall the the port that the Arduino or excuse me the Arduberry is writing to okay so let me just run this and a little little thermometer window should pop up Ah, I forgot to <laughs> forgot to upload my sketch. Okay, so let me do that. There it goes. Okay, so seventy four degrees. It's not really that hot in here. There's some incandescent lights shining on that thermometer. It's it's really around seventy. But uh, but anyway, um. Like I said, um, processing is a is a really good way to display data collected by the Arduino. And if you're um, and you don't, it's running on Raspberry Pi now. It can run on uh, other computers. There's I think uh, Mac or Windows. But if you've got an Arduberry hooked up to the Raspberry Pi anyway, there's a lot of a lot of things you could do with this. So um, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video.